Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Press the button, you get water or food. You jump through a fiery hoop, you get food. Go to school. You get a good education. You go to school, you learn A, Y, A, B, and C. You come out, you get a job. What kind of a job? You'll get a menial job. Remember, school says schools are not meant to teach us to become CEOs. They're not meant to train us to become leaders of society. Schools is meant to make us workers. Work, that's it. That's what it's used for. Uh, how about this? Women say, oh, they could never do that to me. Okay, how about this? We'll give you free housing and public assistance if you get rid of that man. That's your reward. You would have never thought years ago, women would have said, I would never do that. But look today. Look at it today. They reward the woman by getting rid of the man and give them public assistance and housing. Wow, I'll do it. Higher paying jobs, all that. They said, I'll do it. When 20, 30 years ago, these same sisters would have said, I would never do that. <laughs> you are in, we, I'll say we, we are in the Skinner box. Right. What else? And just like the occasional disobedient rat or lion, they get a shock or a whip. What do we get? We get thrown in prison or we get fired for things that we may or may not do that they don't like. Give me Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 14, please. The book of Habakkuk. Men wearing a dress will never happen. Men, us not going against homosexuality, that will never happen. Women wearing pants, that will never happen. And look at us today, the Skinner box. They said to the woman, you can be a feminist. You don't need that man. So now you can dress like men. Look today. You, it's hard to tell a woman not to dress like a man. And boy, 30 years, 40 years ago, they would have said, I'll never dress like a man. Never! Look at them today. You get men that say, I'll never be a homosexual. They were scorned. Look at Jamaica. That was the last holdout against Bati boys. Mm. Look at them. You got gully queens all in Jamaica. Because they said, listen, you sign this contract. You sign this music contract, never sing against homosexuality. Don't do nothing against them. You're going to get some money. Yeah, man, me need some money. We're third world country, man. Me need the money. And boom, you got gully queens all running through Jamaica. Homosexuality, men now wearing dresses. Doing the same thing in Nigeria. Nigeria said, hey, we need help against Boko Haram. They're killing us. Mm. Obama, our first one and only black president said, we'll help you, but you must accept same-sex marriage. This is what they've done. Uganda, they're doing it. Various, all throughout Africa, they're doing the same thing. And just like we said many years, we will never do it. Look at us today. How in the hell did you get a drove? Like women say today, you got to find out if the niggas are in jail or if he's a homo, because that's why we can't get married. 
How did they get the masses of black men here in America, black and Latinos, I'm talking about you Latinos too, into homosexuality? They, they started with the TV. They put Flip Wilson on. I don't know how, how old some of y'all are. Flip Wilson, he wear the dress, it was Geraldine was his alter yeah, exactly, ego. Exactly. And it was funny. We yeah, laughed. We That's laughed. how they lower it, desensitize right, it. Right. Bugs go. Bunny, he put on that wig and put on lipstick and, and, and kiss kissed Elma Fudd in the mouth. And as children, ha, 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 we laughed. Desensitize them. We are in the Skinner box. We are being manipulated and don't even realize it. They did a movie called The Matrix. The Matrix and the Skinner box is the same thing. It's the same thing. Sis, sis, go ahead. What do you want to say? I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, yeah, the, this program is so deceptive that, and cunning and effective that the people that are affected by it now are saying that we have our own opinion. Right. That's how dangerous it is. You actually think that this is your own thought. You don't even recognize that you've been in the Skinner box the whole trip. That's a hell of, that's a, hell of a program there. Right. Read that scripture. The book of Rebekah, chapter 3, verse 14. Thou didst strike through with his staves the head of his villages. So the prophecy here in Habakkuk is the return of Christ, the black Messiah. It says what? Read it again. Thou didst strike through with his staves the head of his villages. The heads of the villages are the leaders of society. Go ahead. They came out as a whirlwind. To the nations came out against them as a whirlwind. Go ahead. To scatter me. To scatter Christ and the angels. They're rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. That's what we want to harp on right there. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. Give me the precept for the poor in Isaiah, is it 14, the last verse? 32, thank you. Because somebody might think, oh, we're poor just because some of us ain't got no money in the pocket. No, that ain't what this is talking about. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 32. This is going to explain the poor, which is the same thing in Matthew 5 where Christ said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Read that. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? That the Lord have founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. See that? And the poor of his people, Zion, his people shall trust in it. So the poor is not talking about you poor in your pocket. It's talking about poor in spirit. Meaning we have lost our heritage, our culture, our land. We've lost everything, even our God-given minds. We have lost everything. So, how many of you have graduated college? Raise your hand. Let me see. Let me see. Well, quite a few of you have graduated college. Thank y'all. Online, I'm pretty sure many of you online have graduated college. College, Prestigious colleges. But let me help you to something. Let me tell you something. If you were never told that the box... The Radisson represents your community. You've been miseducated. If you were never told that the rat in the box represents you, you've been miseducated. You were never told, we were never told, that when we look at this rat in the box, that it represents blacks and Latinos. They started with testing on animals first, then they did it on us. But you never told that in school. So you think you're free. You think you have independent will. No, you don't. We don't have independent will, no. We are manipulated every day being inside this box we live in. Whether you call it the matrix or you call it the Skinner box, it's the same thing. Or the Thorndike Thorn puzzle box, it's the same thing. We are constantly being manipulated. Our thoughts are being changed, and our thoughts are not our own thoughts. That's why Christ was held, I'll say heaven bent, on us being born again. Because our thoughts are the thoughts of Esau. Our thoughts are the thoughts of the oppressor. Give me Micah 2, please. Micah chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. So again, if you were never told the rat in the skin of the box represents you and me, we have been sorely miseducated. We've been in the skin of the box since we came out the mama's womb. And that's what Matrix was talking about. As soon as you're born, they put you in something, a, 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 help me out with the word. They you know when you come out of the that thing they had the babies in, in the fields they put you in a position in society, whatever it was. Remember the dude, uh, when he, what's his name, Cipher? He said, "Put me back to sleep," and he said, "I want to be somebody famous, someone important, like like an actor." He wanted to go back in the box, back into the matrix. Back, the Bible calls it, thank you, the world, okay, or a net. I'm gonna show you a scripture. We use the term for the Skinner box. 
or the matrix as a net, or the world is called also in most scriptures. Read that for us. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. B.F. Skinner has worked evil on his bed. Thorndike worked evil on his bed. White people, Edomites, have worked evil upon their beds. And their beds is those think tanks. They sit and come together. Go ahead. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right. They practice the evil they thought the night before. What they sat down and um, counseled about, they enacted. Go ahead. And they covet fields. They covet fields and take them by violence. They take them by violence. They don't come and vote for it. They take them by violence. Read. And houses and take them away. And houses and take them away. They want us to believe that uh, the Native American Indians, the Boricuas, the people of Santo Domingo, never lived in houses, that they lived in trees. That's a lie. Right. That is, if you, if some of you, I, I worked with a brother, huh, I got his name right, I got his face in there right in my head, I wanted to smack his teeth out of his mouth, from El Salvador. He said, if it wasn't for the white man, I'd still be running around with grass around my waist. I said, you are stupid as hell to believe that garbage. That without the white, he said, the white man educated us and brought us, saved us. I, I, I was so mad talking with him. I, I said, I got to leave you alone, brother, because you're just too damn stupid. We, did you finish verse two? No. Go ahead. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So they oppress a man in his house. I want to use that part. They oppress a man in his house. Okay, we always go to the heritage part. I want to talk about the house. So he coveted lands. He steals lands. He stole America. He stole everything he got his hands on. And he set us up in something called project building. Y'all, Some of y'all are familiar with the projects. Don't make like y'all don't live in the projects. Some of you, you know you live in the projects. And everybody's ashamed. The name project is an experiment. Yes, it's an experiment. <laughs> Give me that scripture, Isaiah 5 and 8, please. I hope that's the scripture, because I'll be rushing, writing things down. Let me hear it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 8. Listen good. Woe unto them that join house to house. Woe unto him that joins house to house. That means what the enemy would do is put living quarters close together. No longer would you have your plot of land, I have my own plot of land, you got your, now we all together, we bunch together. Right, that's a very, like a slave ship is a very, it's a project. It's an experiment. Read it again. Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field. That to lay field to, that's why, like even when I got my own house, but I'm living right next door to somebody. We're divided by a thin wall. I can't stand that thing. Exactly. You hear every moan and groan. What the hell is this? Go ahead. <laughs> that lay field to field. That lay field to field. Till there be no place. Till there be not enough room. Go ahead. That they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. That they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. They put us all together in our communities and claim that there's no room. Go ahead, right, Don. Right, ghettos. When it says uh, that they may be placed alone, meaning they'll put us bunched together and they'll move out to the suburbs. Yes. And have all the room in the world, all the land. Right. All for themselves and bunch right. us up like sardines in a bus. That's why, like in the Bronx, um, when I would go to work in the morning, there was a room in the bus. Because they buy, they have a house next to an apartment building. Makes no sense. They have a house here, a building here, a house here, a building here. Then they have a building behind the houses. All bunched together in one. What, meanwhile, Esau living in land, um, land, land vast and far as the, as the eye can see while we're all bunched together. And there's really no sunlight because the buildings block the sun. They got all the trees and all that stuff. It's different living for them. They're more relaxed. They're more they're calm. In New York, it's more hostile because you all bunch together. You're confined. That, that, that's con mental conditioning also, that living condition. And they did that with animals, with rats especially. They could be at peace with one another, but when you bunch them all together, they start to bite and attack each other. So they don't know that that happens with blacks and Latinos? Oh, they know that very well. You don't know that. But they know it very well. Put them all together. They're going to start to attack each other, bite each other, shoot each other, kill each other. And that's exactly what is happening. Right. Misplaced aggression. We are in the Skinner box. We are in the Matrix. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites.
make it so hard to serve God. And why would I say that I'm a Jew with sound art? For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.